Neurotube defects are defects that would happen in the nervous system that which includes the brain, the spinal cord, the meningeal layer, and the vertebral column as well. These defects would usually happen in the first month of pregnancy before the woman even knows that she is pregnant. The three main categories that we will be talking about are spinal bifida occulta, meningocele, and myelomeningocele. The main problem in spinal bifida occulta is malfusion of the vertebral arches, but the dura is intact, so the spinal cord is still preserved and protected, and the striking feature is hair tuft in the lower back. In meningeal seal, there will be a sac protruding from the lower back with meningeal layer inside it and CSF fluid as well, but there will be no neural tissues whatsoever. In myelomeningeal seal, the only difference is that this sac will now contain neural tissue, which will result in lower limb paralysis and complete loss of sensation. The markers that we will be looking for are acetylcholesterase and alpha fetoprotein. These markers are originally present inside the neural tissue or inside the nervous system, and once the neural tissue or neural tube is defected, it will be released into the amniotic fluid and we will be able to see it and measure it. Um, but th these markers are not, are not elevated in the first type, which is spinal bifida occulta, because the dura is intact and the neural tissue is preserved. Risk factors for developing neural tube defects include poorly controlled diabetes in the mother, phenytoin use, carbamazepine use, valproic acid, and folate deficiency. Of course, the three medications listed are all anti medications.